Wow. Wow. Mm. <laughs> Colin's time to bake. This week we're making a chocolate honeycomb tart courtesy of Bakesbox. So this is my very first Bakesbox. It's a subscription service and all you do is sign up and they send you all the ingredients you need to make cakes. Well not all the ingredients, you have to add some things because sending butter through the post would be ridiculous. So let's have a look. What's very cute is it says ready let's bake and it also tells you exactly what your box contains and then the method. On the other side of the method it tells you all the ingredients you need so if you wanted to make it again you know exactly what to get. <laughs> it also says survey. Yeah, survey. I feel like this is going to be very exciting considering the picture itself doesn't tell you exactly what it's supposed to look like so I presume you just make it up. But, if you're good enough, they'll put you on the back of the magazine for next time. So that's exciting, fingers crossed that happens. Ah, I could be famous! Don't forget to click subscribe and also click that bell because it will actually alert you when I make new videos. I do make videos every Wednesday, so feel free to join me for that. So are we ready? Let's bake! Now the method says you need to start by making the pastry. To make the pastry, put the flour, and that's 100 grams of plain flour and 30 grams of ground almonds into a food processor and blend this up with 85 grams of butter which you have to add yourself. If you're not using a food processor you can rub this in with your fingertips and what you want to do is make it look like breadcrumbs. Once you have the breadcrumbs you want to start in 25 grams of golden caster sugar and one egg yolk. So again in the food processor pop both of those in and blitz it round. Add in one tablespoon of water until it makes a dough but please 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 be careful if you overdo it you'll end up with a sloppy mess. Nobody wants to be sloppy. So once you have your dough, pop it onto the countertop, roll it into a ball, wrap it with cling film and stick it in the fridge for 20 minutes. While that's in the fridge, you'll want to preheat your oven to 170 degrees. Once the dough is chilled, take it out and put this onto your floured surface and roll this flat until it's larger than the tin because you'll want to then lift it with your rolling pin and gently place it over the top and mould it into the sides of the tin. It does say here you'll want to gently press on the side and then roll over the top to trim off the excess. They've also given us grease proof, which is really cool because you need to put the grease proof on top of the pastry case and then pour in your baking beans if you have any or rice if you don't and then you'll want to stick this into your oven for 15 minutes. That's called blind baking, apparently. Once this has been in for 15 minutes, take it out, take out the beans or rice and the grease proof paper, put this back into the oven for eight to 10 minutes until it's crisp and golden. Then take it out once more and leave it to cool completely in the tin. Now for the filling. This is what I'm excited about because chocolate buttons, yay! So you need 130 grams of dark chocolate and you'll want to melt this either in the microwave or in a double boiler if you fancy. Then once this has been melted completely, leave it to the side and then you need 100 grams of caster sugar and two egg whites. Put this into a bowl over a pan of simmering water. Again, double boiler or bain-marie, however you want to call it. But make sure that the bowl doesn't touch the water. Put the heat on so the water is simmering and then you'll want to whisk up the egg whites with the sugar until it reaches a sort of slightly stiff peaks but not quite fully there meringue wise. Take this off the heat, then whiz again until it's completely like a meringue. Now you'll want to take 140 milliliters of double cream and whisk this in a separate bowl until thick and holds its shape. Seems straightforward. Fold the cream then into the egg mixture and then fold in the chocolate until it's fully incorporated. So you just keep folding until it's fully in there. Pour into the pastry case and smooth the top. Chill in the fridge until set for about 30 minutes. Meanwhile, you need to make your honeycomb. Now, I'm very excited about this because I've never made honeycomb before and I didn't actually know how you could make it. Grease a small metal tin with a little bit of oil. Seems straightforward so far. Mix your 50 grams of caster sugar and tablespoon of golden syrup in a small saucepan and stir it over a gentle heat until the sugar has melted. Do not let the mixture bubble. Oh. Oops. Oh, until the good sugar grains have disappeared. There we go, we're fine. Once completely melted, turn up the heat a little bit and then simmer until you have a dark coloured amber. And this is going to happen very quickly and be careful because it will be very hot. And as fast as you can, turn off the heat, add your bicarb of soda and then it just foams up. It looks really cool. Scrape this into your pre-lined tin and then flatten it out just a little bit and then leave to cool completely. It actually gives you a tip to wash your pan as well. Pour boiling water in and let it simmer until the sugar has re-dissolved. Or if you're me and you're lazy, you just let it soak just till it's gone. Now to serve, take your pastry out of the fridge, lightly dust with a bit of cocoa powder, smash up your honeycomb and then sprinkle that over the top. Take out the tin and ta-da! Ready to go! Well, of course I'm doing a taste test. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Wow. 
Mm. So there you have it, my very first Bakes box. I'm now very excited to see what next month has to offer. Quite like the challenge of not really knowing exactly what it's supposed to look like, but I have sent you a picture of what I made and we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll make the back of it next time. Ooh. Don't forget to click subscribe, check me out on all the social media, and also head over to my website where I have various things going on there. My name is Colin, this is Colin Sent to Bake. Thank you very much, and I'll see you soon.